What's up guys? This is Juan. I'm back with another video. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different. This is not going to be a product review. Uh, I wanted to talk about the Apple Spring Loaded event. So for the last couple weeks and months, uh, Apple, well not Apple, but rumors have been out about Apple releasing new products, uh, iPad, um, AirTags as well. It's been rumored for a long time. Uh, couple MagSafe accessories maybe, Apple TV, AirPods 3, we don't know exactly, uh, but Apple did announce a spring event. It's gonna be this Tuesday, and that's what, 420? And they're supposed to announce a couple of accessories that are rumored. Uh, we don't know exactly what Apple's going to announce, uh, but a lot of people are guessing. They're trying to say, well, it's going to be either Apple TV, it's going to be AirTags, it's going to be IMAX. We don't know exactly. Uh, of course, Apple never tells us. Uh, but I wanted to talk about it a little bit. Uh, so, like, like I said, lately, there has been AirTags rumored. Uh, people have been waiting for this for months. Uh, Apple never released it, but there has been leaks of images of AirTags, uh, as well as AirTags uh, announced in the codes of iOS that uh, developers have found. So, will we see AirTags? Uh, I don't know exactly. Uh, I know Apple recently announced partnerships with the Find My app, which they're gonna let you uh, get third-party accessories like bikes, uh, as well as a third-party, uh, not AirTag, but a location device. Um, uh, I forgot the name exactly, but it was similar to Chipotle or something like that. Uh, but there is a, a manufacturer that's going to create a location tag that's going to be uh, capable with Apple's Find My app. So that's interesting to me because Apple never announced AirTags. Uh, like I said, this was rumored through code that was found in iOS and images that was leaked. We don't know if those are real or not. Some images did look real, uh, but we're not sure. And I'm kind of a little iffy about it because uh, like I said, Apple did announce third-party accessories for Find My. And I, my opinion, I think they would announce that together with AirTags uh, in the Spring Loaded event um, or through just the website itself, but they didn't. So I'm wondering if that either got canceled or if that got postponed. Um, we don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out Tuesday. Uh, but remember what happened with AirPower. Uh, Apple did announce that product, but it never came out. So are they having issues with AirTags? Who knows? I guess we'll find out Tuesday. Another rumor is iPad Pros. So iPad Pros have been uh, rumored lately. Uh, we're expecting the same design. Uh, but it's going to have a mini, a mini LED display. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but like I said, I'm not too excited about that. Uh, it's going to be the same design, probably A14X or M1 or whatever they're going to put in it. Um, we'll see. But whatever they put in it might be comparable to Apple's M1, M1X series, whatever comes out on the next Macs. Uh, but I believe normally uh, the iPad Pros... Those chips normally get the X name, and they do have a comparable performance to uh, Max. You know, that's that's how it's been in the past. Uh, so we'll see how it is. iPad rumor, like I said, iPad Pro, probably the same design. Mini, mini LED display, probably, you know, brighter display, better resolution. Uh, we'll see. You know, there's not too, many, too much information on that. But like I said, I shouldn't, you shouldn't expect uh, a different design. That should be same squared off body. Um, who knows if it's going to come with colors. Normally that's just like the budget, like the iPad Airs came with colors. Uh, I'm assuming the iPad Pro is to come either black and silver, uh, nothing special. And we're also rumored to have an iPad Mini 6. So the iPad Mini line has is still alive. Uh, I don't think it's that popular with people. It's probably more with companies that use it for uh, manuals and training and I know the airlines, they use a lot of iPads for uh, their, their books and everything that's on it. It's no longer in an actual book. It's on the iPad itself. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. But iPad mini to be rumored out. Uh, what about budget iPad? In the past, Apple has released budget iPads. 
Uh, they normally, they're normally around the 329 range. Uh, those are normally targeted towards education use, uh, but we'll see. Uh, like I said, in the past, they've normally released a budget iPad. Uh, and that's, like I said, that's normally around 329. It doesn't get the latest chip. Uh, it might have Apple Pencil support. We'll see. I don't remember if the last one did have Apple Pencil support. I know the Pros do, the iPad Airs do, the Mini got the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Pencil support. Uh, so we'll see if the budget gets it. I'm not sure. I don't remember if it did or not. It probably did, but I'm not sure. Um, that's probably going to have the same old design with the big forehead and chin. It's not going to have, I'm assuming, not the new design. Um, we mentioned air tags. What else? iMac. iMac is rumored. It is a big rumor. We'll see. I'm not sure, but it's rumored to have a new design. So iMacs have had the same design for years back. I'm not sure when it started, but it's had the same design. Um, of course, Apple upgrades those, but internally, they've never had an external upgrade other than the color. I know the iMac Pro came out in like a space gray with space gray keyboard, space gray mouse. They had all that with it um, when it got released. But other than that, it's had the same design, uh, same chin, same forehead, same borders. I mean, boring old design, great computer, but we you know we're, it's time for a refresh. So that's what's rumored. It's supposed to be a borderless, close to the Apple XDR display like design. Uh, we'll see if that happens or not. There's also rumored for it to have colors. So the colors that you saw in the iPad Air that had the blue, the green, like the, it wasn't a red, it was like a pink. Um, it had, it's, it's supposed to have those colors. Uh, again, Apple's Pro products don't normally have colors in it. It'll have a silver or black, but it never has those colors those bright colors, those were always in the cheaper design. So like, remember the 5C had colors? Um, what else? The iPad Air had colors in it. So normally their low line colors, their low budget ones, they don't have the bright colors. They normally have just the black and silver. So we'll see if this, is this gonna be an iMac Pro? Is this gonna be like a low budget iMac? Um, is it gonna be in the same price range? We'll see because it's gonna have Apple Silicon in it. So with the Mac Mini, you see I have a Mac Mini here. Um, that came in a decent price range. It was around $700, uh, but it had the M1 in it, which blew away every other computer out there. Uh, the old iMacs, the you know most powerful PCs, most of them, not all of them, but in terms of uh, CPU power, that blew it away. For a $700 computer, that's amazing. So are we gonna see an iMac Pro or are we just gonna see regular iMacs? budget price we'll see with the m1 in it um it's interesting because like i said they're rumored to come in colors so we'll see how that goes um like i said the the colors that come in the pro products they're never those colorful colors it's always black or gray so we'll see how it is um also rumored so spring cases so cases for probably ipad or iphone we'll see uh if they release for any other products but they normally come in spring colors so the blues, the greens, the yellows, the, the ones that are normally bright colors uh, for spring, Apple normally releases those cases. Also watch bands. We'll see if Apple releases those colors for the Apple watch band. Most likely they do. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, also, what about MagSafe accessories? What do you guys think? You think they're gonna release any new MagSafe accessories? At this point, they only have cases. They have some MagSafe charging stands. Uh, but nothing major. What I'm hoping for is a MagSafe battery pack. So I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which I'm recording on now. Um, I love it. I rock it naked with no case at the moment. Uh, I do have a MagSafe, I have it right here, uh, a MagSafe wallet. Uh, and this is from Moft. I'm gonna do a video on this, but this wallet is super nice, super high quality, 30 bucks. In my opinion, a lot better than Apple's. Apple charges, what, $50, $60 for the case. Uh, it has some cards in it that you can put and also works as a stand. So I'll do a video on this later on. But uh, we'll see. I, I, I would like for them to release more MagSafe accessories, like either a tripod that you know you could hold down with MagSafe, uh, maybe car accessories. 
uh, a cradle that you can put your phone on while you're driving or a charger for the car, who knows? Uh, I know they normally leave that for third party uh, makers to make that stuff, uh, but I would like to see Apple do that as well, especially a battery pack, because uh, those, uh, you normally want to make those really good because they heat up uh, and it's a battery pack. You don't want that to explode or damage your phone or anything like that. So I know in the past, they've made uh, charging cases that you slip your phone in the case uh, and those were fairly bumpy. Uh, the, the, the profile itself was thin, but towards the back bottom, it had a little hump to it. Uh, it worked great, but it, it added a lot of thickness to it. Uh, so I would like to see a MagSafe battery pack that you can just put on and off whenever you need it. So we'll see how that goes. I know they got some third party ones. Uh, Anchor is probably one of them that makes it. If I'm not mistaken, they make a battery pack around 30, 40 bucks. Uh, but we'll see, hopefully Apple makes one. Uh, another one, iOS 14.5. Uh, that is a rumored, well not rumored, but it's an update that's gonna be rumored to come out around the spring loaded event. Uh, so they have, I think they're in beta eight now, which is a lot of betas for not a major OS upgrade, uh, but it does have, like I said, find my upgrades where you can attach uh, third party accessories to the app to find and locate your uh, devices. And what else is it? Uh, unlock with a face. So we are in a pandemic still. Uh, it's getting better, thank God. Uh, but you, we don't have fingerprint sensors in our iPhones. We unlock it with our face. Uh, the thing is now we are wearing a lot of masks. So it is hard to unlock your phone with your mask on. A lot of people I see put the mask down and pop it back up or, or they'll just constantly put in their pin. Uh, with the 14.5 update, I used it in the beta with my Apple Watch. You can unlock your phone as long as you are wearing your Apple Watch on your wrist. So when you swipe up to unlock, the phone's going to see that you're wearing a mask. It's going to go then go to your watch to make sure you have a watch on your wrist and your watch is unlocked. And it will then unlock your phone. You do have to be running the 14.5 beta on your phone and on your watch for that to work but hopefully soon they will release that for everyone. Uh, it's gonna be a public release and hopefully that'll help out a lot of people unlocking their phone. Cause I know it's a pain to constantly put it down or constantly put in your pin. We have face ID, it works great. So we should be able to use it. Um, another rumored product, Apple TV. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, Apple TV is a couple years old now. It is really expensive for a streaming box. Um, I don't know what they're gonna do with that. I hope they release a new one with a cheaper price tag. You have other competitors out there, uh, Amazon, Roku, uh, they're releasing their products, 30, 40 bucks with a 4K resolution uh, display. I mean, not a display in the box, but you know, it's, compa it's compatible of showing you 4K resolution content. Apple's 4K resolution box is 170, 180, I don't know, it's up there in price. It's super expensive compared to everyone else and it's lacking a little bit. Uh, the remote isn't the best. Uh, hopefully they're gonna redesign the remote, hopefully with Find My features where you can be able to find it. Um, hopefully they add like ultra wideband where you can find it with the camera. It'll show you exactly where the remote's at. Uh, but it's been long overdue. So we'll see, hopefully they release something new. Uh, so we'll see, hopefully Apple TV 3 We'll see how it goes. I don't know what, what third, no, probably four. I don't know what generation it's on, but there's been a couple. So uh, we'll see how that goes on Tuesday. Uh, another thing is AirPods 3. Uh, we've seen a lot of rumors for AirPods. Uh, they have been in white and in black. Uh, it has a design closer to the uh, AirPods Pros, but without the silicone tip. So if you can imagine it, it's got the same, kind of the same design of the original AirPods and their AirPods Pros, just without the tip. Uh, who knows if that's, if that's gonna come in colors or not. I hope they do. The white ones are nice, but I would like a black pair or a gold pair or, uh, I don't know, space gray, we'll see. You know, hopefully they match the colors of the iPhones. That'll be awesome if it comes like in gold, blue, green, whatever it is. Uh, it'd be nice for them to change it up a little bit so you can kind of tell the difference of the old AirPods and new AirPods. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, like I said, this is a little bit different video. I know I normally do reviews, but I just wanted to speak to you guys and get your opinions on what you guys think was, was, what's going to happen on Tuesday, uh, if they're going to release these products or not. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. Normally hardware events, they, have, they, they happen in uh, September 
for iPhone. Uh, so we're not going to see any iPhones. Uh, I know some people were talking about SE upgrade, but we're, I don't think we'll see that anytime soon. Not until September, October. Last year was in October due to COVID. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Like I said, they're going to talk about some products here, probably accessories, a lot of accessories, nothing major, no iPhones, nothing like that. Rumored AirPods, rumored iPad, rumored iMac. Like I said, those are all rumors. We'll see. Uh, Apple normally hides little stuff into their logo when they release, um, when they talk about the keynote, they normally put some stuff in it. So the logo has a lot of colors, as you can see. Uh, and then the writing itself, some people are saying that it's closer to the hello on the iMac um, and back in the day. So we'll see, maybe, who knows? Uh, but like I said, it has colors in it, so you know it's, it's, it's going to have some accessories, some cases, some watch bands about colors, maybe iMac, who knows? Um, and then we'll see how it goes, guys. So uh, I'll probably post another video after the event, and when, then we can discuss what Apple actually really talked about. Uh, other than that, guys, thank you for your support. Thank you for your subscriptions. Thank you for always watching my videos, leaving comments, either if it's good or bad. You know, I'm trying to improve myself little by little, but I appreciate you guys. Uh, appreciate you guys watching the videos. So other than that, you guys have a blessed day. Thank you. Peace.